The folks at iRobot are at it again. A cleaning robot that can avoid that little accident Fido left behind. Welcome to another Textination interview. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us for my robot is VP of Product Management, Human Shahidi. Thanks for joining us, Human. Thank you, Fred. It's exciting to be here and share this uh, couple of exciting pieces of news that iRobot is introducing today with you. Well, you've just announced the Roomba J7 Plus robot vacuum with Genius 3.0 home intelligence. It's been, if I'm counting right, about 19 years since the first Roombas arrived. Tell us what's so new and different with these latest products. Yeah, so uh, I'm glad you brought up the amount of time that we've been uh, delighting consumers with our robotic vacuum cleaners, the Roomba. Um, and you know, I think this is the culmination of a ton of work that's been going on at iRobot uh, to, you know, not only do a great job uh, cleaning your house, but um, also anticipating your needs and making that whole task easier every time. Um, you know, with the announcement of Genius 3.0, um, we are continuing on this transformation from having you tell the robot what to do uh, to iRobot actually anticipating your needs and better figuring out how to meet them. And that's really the genesis behind Genius 3.0 um, is the ability for um, the suite of artificial intelligence that, the, um, that iRobot has built to anticipate what you need to clean your house and be able to go out and do it. Um, you know, I think that transformation definitely in um, is, is really going from um, the consumer programming devices to devices sort of becoming part of your, um, your, your routine in your life. Um, and that's really what we've done with Genius 3.0 and the Roomba J7 Plus. Um, you know, specifically on the J7 Plus, really excited about this product um, in a couple of, in several different ways. Um, one is that uh, the J7 Plus uh, is our most thoughtful robotic vacuum yet. Um, and, you know, it uh, has, uh, you know, compared to the robot that we made 19 years ago, um, the amount of intelligence and processing capability and backend AI that we've built into this um, is, you know, it might be separated by 19 years, but in terms of technology, it's separated by eons. Um, you know, the Roomba J7 doesn't just learn your home. It reacts in real time with precision vision navigation to the environment to allow it to even better do its job. Um, you know, we launched this product with the ability to uh, recognize objects that most frequently bother consumers or bother, bother consumers when they're using a robot around the house, like cords um, that uh, you might have laying around and really see those and avoid them. And we're really excited to be announcing um, a uh, technology to be able to recognize and avoid animal waste. Um, uh, this is actually, you know, interesting because so many of the people who buy a robotic vacuum cleaner own pets, um, right? So the animals shed and they really want to uh, want a robot to take care of that, um, that cleaning for them. Um, and the, uh, the J7 Plus sort of takes this to the whole new level. And, you know, with the pandemic, a lot of people have pets that didn't have pets previously. So we're getting a lot of folks who had this concern of, hey, I want to have a robot, but I'm afraid because I have a new puppy and the puppy's not fully potty trained. So uh, I don't want it smearing the animal waste all over my house. And, um, you know, the other piece is that we have really put our money where our mouth is on this, um, this product um, in that we actually offer consumers a guarantee that if the robot ever runs over animal waste, which you know it won't, we will replace your robot for free. Uh, so we're really excited to sort of be timely in meeting consumers' needs uh, who are interested in robotic vacuum cleaners with the Roomba J7 Plus. Hey, accidents happen. 
Any pet owner knows that, but coming home to one of these accidents to see that Roomba made it worse, well, no one signed up for that. Sounds like a job for iRobot Engineering. Poop comes in many shapes and sizes. We built over a hundred physical models of poop. We trained our algorithms on over a hundred thousand images. At the end of the day, it worked. And the Roomba J7 comes fully equipped to both identify and avoid number two. And this is strictly using the camera, right? There's nothing in there that can smell. <laughs> uh, no. So, you know, uh, one of the things that um, our CEO founder, Colin, likes to say is the camera is one of the most powerful sensors that you can put on a product. Uh, because, you know, with that camera, we're able to do so many things, uh, including see the animal waste and the, uh, the cords. But we also use that for navigation. Um, now, the other thing we've done is we've um, really structured our ecosystem for privacy first. Um, you know, people have concerns about AG, you know, I've got a camera in my house. Well, we've created um, the J7 and the backend infrastructure so that you are 100% in control of the information um, that's generated by that robot. So the images are encrypted end to end between the robot and your app. iRobot can't even see those images unless you specifically give us access to use them in our AI database. Um, and that's an opt, uh, you have to opt into to something like that. So we've really tried to protect the consumer's privacy while unleashing the power um, that is that 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 can be enabled by uh, having a having a camera on our uh, on our Roomba J7 plus and this promise with the uh, with the pet waste do you have a name for it even uh, the pet owner's official promise or yes the pet owner's official official <laughs> promise that's right that's right who came up um, with that <laughs> the you know we've got a heck of a heck of a marketing team uh, <laughs> that uh, that uh, that helps us uh, make sure people know uh, what we're what we're offering them. And, you know, I think the other piece about it is that um, uh, you know there's a lot of products out there who claim that they have this like massive list of things that they can avoid, um, right? Uh, but we didn't go for having a huge long list right out of the gate. We really went after what was important to consumers, and we got it right. Um, as opposed to doing, you know, 40 things halfway, we're doing a few things really well. And those are the things that really matter. Um, the great part about having this camera and having the intelligence is that it's actually expandable over time. Um, you know, just like we introduced Genius 3.0, um, it's basically a free upgrade for any um, Roomba uh, owner. Uh, today, uh, right? So a lot of features like clean while you're away uh, automatically come to the robots um, for, you know, people who own an i7 or an i3 that they might have bought a few years ago. They get that upgrade free. Um, and with the camera um, and the J7 Plus, as we add more objects like shoes and socks, um, those will come for the J7 Plus in the future. Interesting. And it deals well, I, I assume, too, with things like the uh, fringes on carpets and, and such that can cause issues sometimes. Yeah. So um, one of the uh, great features of Genius 3.0 is that it continues to learn. Uh, right. So imagine there's a whole bunch of sensors on the robot that give it information about the environment, not just the camera, but we have sensors that um, detect the fact that it's bumped up against the wall or uh, sends the power draw on our uh, brush motor, right? And what we do then is we can make suggestions to consumers on where they should put out keep out zones. Uh, and very frequently, if you have uh, really long fringes on the carpet, one of the things that the, may, that the robot will generally do if it finds that it's having problems around those fringes um, you'll get a notification in the app and saying, hey, I seem to have a problem in this particular part of your house. Would you like me to set up a keep out zone for you? And that's that whole journey of 
you know, anticipating your needs as opposed to you having to program them manually. Um, and so that's, again, really exciting to be able to do that uh, and make these devices uh, more and more a member of the family. You know, many people who own a Roomba uh, end up naming their, uh, their robot uh, and it becomes really a member of the family with personality. Terrific. Now you, you have mops as well, but the Roomba, is there an issue with the, with the liquid waste or, or liquids that might be on the floor? I imagine that's much diff more difficult for a camera to detect. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, the um, object that has to be avoided has to have some sort of three dimensional form put it that way, right? Uh, so yeah, so liquid liquid is a, is, is a much more difficult problem to solve, um, right? Because um, as you're looking at liquid and doesn't have the three-dimensional form, uh, there's all kinds of issues around what is the color of the floor that it's on and what is the color of the liquid? Is it transparent? Is it translucent? Um, and so forth. So that one's a, that one's a much more complicated problem for us to solve, and um, we unfortunately don't have that one on the on the on the list quite yet. But you can believe that our engineers are working on things like that. Now, tell us about the raw cleaning power, the improvements you've made here. Obviously, the folks at at iRobot know you've got lots of competition out there from big names, small names companies coming in from all over into this space. Tell us yeah. what you've done with the cleaning power and you've mentioned already the intelligence that and the software and how important that is. Yeah, so, you know, the, um, what's, um, we've done a lot of testing on this, uh, on, on the J7 uh, before launch, uh, as you can imagine. Um, we're very particular about making sure that we build in the right cleaning power to satisfy our consumers. And what we really are finding is that um, the, um, the cl cleaning for the J7, it, the consumers are incredibly satisfied uh, with. Um, and um, with our dual counter rotating brushes, um, they are specially designed. Again, going back to who our consumer is, you know, almost 80% of people who own a robotic vacuum cleaner own, uh, own pets. Um, and with those dual counter rotating brushes, they're specifically designed to pick up pet hair, um, pet hair specifically, but on top of that, they do a great job picking up dust off of your hardwood floors and so forth. Um, and they prevent tangling um, of, of hair. So imagine, you know, uh, you own one of those regular vacuum cleaners. If you ever turn the brush upside down and look in there, you got a ton of, uh, you can have a ton of pet hair that's caught up in there. And our brushes are specifically designed not to just pick them up, but also make sure they don't get tangled in there to keep the maintenance. And the, um, the real trick with a robotic vacuum cleaner, and this is why the intelligence is so important, is the whole point is you want, you, you can clean every day with a robotic vacuum cleaner if it's autonomous and takes care of itself. Um, so what have we done with the, with the J7 Plus? We have our uh, automatic dirt disposal system that automatically empties the bin, um, right? So again, the robot is always ready to go because the bin is empty. We have the anti-tangling brushes that, um, prevent that minimize the need for maintenance on the on the robot so what we find is that our consumers are able to use the product every day uh, and there's nothing like having your hell house um, vacuumed every day in terms of keeping it clean and the clean base that you're talking about that can hold what like two months worth Six, of dirt uh, yeah 60 days 60 days worth worth of worth of dirt again it's like how can you make this as easy for consumers, uh, right? So they don't have to empty the clean base um, every, every. I'm sorry, they don't have to empty the bin every day. Um, every two months, you've got to go, you, you can, you just have to very simply take the bag out and uh, put a new bag in. And in fact, um, if you look at the design of the new product we've made, uh, we even take that in the next level um, in that, the, we've redesigned that clean base from the from the ground up 
um, to actually start looking more like furniture. A lot of our consumers that we tested it with are actually proud to display the display the clean base with a robot uh, because of this new design that really makes a robot look like furniture and sort of coexist with the rest of your environment. Um, we've also added, if you open it up, there's a storage um, uh, area in there for you to just store the next bag that you're going to replace in the clean base. Uh, so again, just making this just really fit into your home and your life um, is, uh, is what we try to achieve here. One of the great pieces of the news here today is that people don't have to wait a long time to get their hands on this. Tell us about availability and pricing. Yeah, so uh, the uh, Roomba J7 and J7 Plus are available today for order. Uh, at uh, You can uh, buy them at irobot.com. Um, of course, they will also be available at all your favorite retailers um, as well. Um, and um, the J7 Plus is available for 849. So that's the one that includes the clean base. And then we have one that's just the robot with a with the with the standard dock that's available for 649. Um, so if you hop on store.irobot.com, uh, you can place the order today, and you should be able to get your hands on it in the next uh, next couple of days. Very very exciting. Again, it's store.irobot.com. Dot com. Dot com. That has it right now that people can go in and get get hold of it. And uh, with this pet owner's official promise, people had this is this covers a year from the time that you that you purchased Correct. this, right? Correct. Yeah. So um, for for a year, if uh, the uh, robot runs over any animal waste, uh, just call our customer service line. Uh, and our team will take care of you with uh, a, uh, a replacement robot. Really cool stuff. Uman Shahidi, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Right, it was my pleasure. Thank you.